What's up guys, the Gotham Collector here. Happy Monday. And today is a very special video. I've been waiting for this moment for a while now, a few months I would say, um, but it's finally completed. Um, this is my Dawn of Justice Batflick Batsuit uh, and I'm like in love. Um, I'll show you the whole thing in a little bit. Close-ups, um, tell you where I got all the pieces, how much it cost me. I'll go down like that. Dude, that shit's insane. And like, I have a bunch of Marvel shit and stuff as well, but this is its temporary spot. Um, I'm having a display uh, built for it. So I'll have it like in the bat cave with the LEDs and everything like that, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started. And before we get started, as always, thank you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll answer them. Dude, I cannot stop looking at that shit, dude. That's fucking badass. Like even the video doesn't do it justice, to be honest. Uh, in person, it's just insane. Like, yeah, boom, boom. Uh, but yeah, so a couple of shots from the side, and I left this empty on purpose. I didn't want anything uh, inside. I've seen few people like they put like stuffing and stuff inside, but I don't think it looks authentic in my opinion. Uh, like, that's more badass. Especially when it's dark because I'm planning to have lights on top of it Like even like that you can barely see like this is the neck part of the mannequin, but yeah Look at it dude like what? And it was in the garage, but I had to put it in here because I was like Literally yesterday I was sitting and like looking at it for like fucking two hours, dude. Cause I got it from <clears throat> the tailor on Sunday, yeah, yeah, yesterday. Um, like I had a few things altered because um, this, the outer suit is just, uh, it's from, jo so Joyce Toys, Joe's Toys, I guess. And I gave them the measurements and they did like, they sewn it together. And then the bodysuit was, um, I sent the fabric suit to Reeves FX, shout out to Mr. Sean Reeves. Um, and he glued his muscle suit onto the Joe's Toys. Um, and when I got the Joe's Toys, the fabric suit, even Mr. Reeves told me like right here in the forearms and right here was it was like big dude like literally like it was like hanging <laughs> like it was all wrinkled and shit and like they just sewn it too big but um i took it to a tailor to have it altered in my size um and one day i'll dress it dress up again i know i posted the video last week and i was like literally so impatient i just put it on um and it i mean it did look good but i don't know like it was really hard to put on especially the gauntlets because they are urethane and these little things like right here the markings are kind of rubbery as well so it was like really hard to put on but now they're like flush uh what i had the tailor do is right here under the gauntlet of course i bought invisible zippers and she made a slit and put the zipper because the way the suit is constructed and i'm pretty sure all the other suits are constructed the same way it's a lycra jumpsuit on top of it the muscles are glued and on top of the muscles is this and it's glued and just pinched in certain points just like the donna justice suit um so we did not touch the black uh the lycra suit the under the jumpsuit or whatever under suit we didn't touch that we just made a slit on the gray fabric like right here put an invisible zipper so it's open when you put it on you just zip it down and it goes flush on your forearms and we did the same to the boots i don't know if i can unzip it if you guys will be able to see yeah right here so it sits flush on my leg 
Um, but yeah, let's start from the bottom, I guess. I'm like all over, sorry, but I'm hella excited. <laughs> so, boots are UD replicas, don't adjust his boots. Pretty dope, kind of big, but it is what it is. <clears throat> As I said, gray outer suit is Joe's Toys. Muscle suit is Mr. Reeves, Sean Reeves from Reeves FX. Um, gauntlets are Ninko Creations. Dope as well, Your clear shot. The knuckles are Ninko's and the wraps as well. I bought the gloves from some Viking Cycle, I believe it was. Pretty dope. Built, done by yours truly. As you guys see, put a bunch of shit inside. Uh, I even forgot I put, I put this thing for the phone um, for Halloween if I decide to put it on, but I doubt it because it's really hot. The emblem is Reeves FX as well. Uh, but he did not glue it, I glued it myself just because I wanted to make sure there's space between the cow and the emblem and I think I did a pretty good job, pretty centered in my opinion. Give you another side. Dude, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this shit. Uh, cape is from Ninko as well. Huge cape. I'm like, this is like, like it's a dream come true, guys. Like, sorry if I'm just talking, you know, I don't need my shit, I just film. <clears throat> but this is a dream come true. I've been waiting, like I've been wanting a bat suit ever since I was a kid. So for me, it's like insane. And the cow, of course, is Reeves FX. If you want the most accurate backflip cow on the market, Sean Reeves is your guy. Like, like, I, I mean, look, the video speaks for itself, dude. Like, look at this. Look, boom. It's insane. Um, another profile. And I wanted it just like that. I, as I said earlier, I don't want to put any padding on the inside or like something like to hide it. I just wanted it like that. Like it's clear what I did is I put foam that actually came with the mannequin. Mannequin I bought from eBay. Um, it was like 250 bucks, I believe. Um, well worth it. It was kind of hard to put the suit on on the mannequin to be honest but totally worth it like this piece is fucking amazing um it with the mannequin it cost me like 2900 american dollars total to build the suit but i would say that it was a great purchase uh, i do not um like regret it at all to be honest you know like we have to spoil ourselves from time to time i'm really fucking happy dude like i'm really really happy how it turned out it's just a little bit like like not to brag but in my opinion one of the best looking donna justice suits and i'm telling like in person it's like way massive i wanted it to look like bulky and like athletic like big and the video doesn't do it like justice as i said and parsing is way bulkier like another shot right here oh, crazy look at that profile dude look at the fucking muscle definition right here and even the chest the emblem Oh, and another thing we did, I don't want to lift it. I didn't put any Velcro, it just, it just sitting like that, which is dope as fuck. Cause I didn't want to put Velcro to ruin the suit, to be honest. But what we did is like kind of right here, the neck part, the tailor like sewn, like sewed together, like the gray and the black. So it's like when you put it on, it doesn't move around. Uh, but yeah, 
foam right here. But yeah, that was it guys. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video, uh, show you the suit, it's finally completed. I'm super proud of it. The only thing I wish was if the cape was a little bit longer right there in the middle. It is like, cause if I put it on a stand, this part will actually hang. That's how I wanted it. But I wish the sides were kind of like bigger, like longer as well. But I might get a new cape one day. You never know, even though I love this one cause it's huge. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for everything, for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you guys like it as much as I like that suit. Um, as I said, it's a dream come true. And um, I can't believe I actually like build it, you know? Um, it took a while, it took a few months, but it was well worth it. Like even like right here. Shot from underneath. Dude, but yeah, shout out to all the people that uh, helped me build the suit. As I said, Sean Reeves from Reeves FX, Ninko Creations, Beauty Replicas, Joe's Toys. Thank you, uh, and yeah, thank you guys. If you have any questions, as I said, sorry I'm repeating myself, but I'm like still like cannot believe that I have this in my collection. Just like looking at the definitions, dude, it's insane. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. I really appreciate it. And until next time, um, stay safe.